If you trade in the dark net, try to avoid catching the attention of law enforcement or extort money through hacking, then you definitely know about Monero. Yes, this currency is often used in illicit activities. But don't worry, in reality, it's not only criminals who use it. Monero is ideal for those who value their own confidentiality and the privacy of their transactions. Because it is the most anonymous coin in the entire crypto world. In simple terms, this coin is like cash after you withdraw it from a bank. So the bank knows for sure that you have the money, but it can never trace exactly what you spent it on. Like any other cryptocurrency, Monero has its pros and cons. Among the undeniable advantages, I would include the fact that Monero places a strong emphasis on privacy by using advanced cryptographic techniques such as ring signatures, stealth addresses, and confidential transactions. This ensures the privacy of the sender, recipient, and transaction amount, making them untraceable. Monero also offers fungibility, meaning that each unit of Monero is indistinguishable from another, ensuring that transaction history or previous coin usage does not affect their value or acceptance. Another strength of this cryptocurrency is that it operates on a decentralized blockchain network, similar to Bitcoin, meaning that no central authority controls or governs the currency, providing a censorship-resistant and unrestricted financial system. However, there are potential drawbacks as well. In some countries, the use of Monero may be restricted or prohibited as it hampers financial monitoring or anti-crime efforts. The ability to conduct confidential transactions may attract malicious actors seeking to engage in illegal activities such as money laundering. Additionally, Monero may have less widespread support in terms of integration into payment systems, exchanges and wallets. Monero users may also encounter scalability issues, particularly when handling a large volume of transactions. This can result in increased transaction confirmation times and higher fees. But in order for you to make an informed decision about how to perceive this cryptocurrency, let's discuss it in more detail. The history of Monero begins with a project called Bitcoin, which was launched in 2012. Yes, Bitcoin, not to be confused with Bitcoin. It became the first cryptocurrency to use the crypto note protocol, providing increased privacy compared to Bitcoin. Then, two years later, a group of developers working under the pseudonym Thankful for Today decided to create a new cryptocurrency. Thus, on April 18, 2014, Monero was launched as a fork of the Bitcoin blockchain. Some users consider Bitcoin's most significant disadvantage to be its lack of anonymity. If a user gives the address of their Bitcoin wallet, all their transactions will forever be public. Any user knowing the wallet's address can track the available amount on the wallet, the amount sent or received, when and at what time the exchange took place and for what amount. This is the difference between Monero and Bitcoin. The first cryptocurrency offers absolute anonymity. And it's all thanks to three pillars on which Monero is built. Private addresses, ring signatures and confidential transactions. Let's discuss each of them in order. A private address is a unique identifier used to receive funds. It is a randomly generated string of characters linked to a user's public key but is not publicly visible on the blockchain. This makes it difficult to trace the flow of funds and associate private addresses with transactions in the blockchain. Typically, a private address starts with a 4 and has a format similar to this. The second important aspect that ensures privacy in Monero is ring signatures. It is a cryptographic method that provides anonymity for the sender in a transaction. It is used to hide the identity of the sender and prevent transaction tracking in the blockchain. 
In simple terms, it is a form of electronic signature, where it is known that the message is signed by one of the potential signers on the list, but not revealed by whom exactly. And the third factor is confidential transactions, a mechanism used to hide the transfer amount in the blockchain. It is a cryptographic protocol that allows hiding the recipient's address and the actual amounts in the inputs and outputs of transactions from third parties. In other words, it becomes difficult for external observers to determine the exact transfer amounts in the blockchain as they are encrypted. Only balance and correctness of the transaction can be verified. This contributes to the confidentiality of financial operations and user privacy. Decentralization and security are also distinguishing features of Monero. It employs various mechanisms such as proof-of-work and difficulty retargeting to prevent mining monopolization and provide protection against malicious attacks. By the way, unlike Bitcoin, Monero can be mined on almost any computer, no specialized hardware. This decentralization of mining helps safeguard the currency's value from a collapse. Monero also adheres to the principle of user ownership, user control. Users have full control over their financial data and decide whom to grant access to and when. This makes them more cautious about their transaction. Each Monero coin is fungible. Just like ordinary physical currency you use to pay for your purchases at a local store. It doesn't matter which specific coin you receive, they are all the same. You might be thinking, aren't all cryptocurrencies like that? I'll probably surprise you, but no, not at all. Each Bitcoin is recorded in the blockchain, where the transaction history is visible. Each Bitcoin has its own history. You can track all its movements from the moment of creation until it reaches you. However, there is always a risk that your coin may have been involved in less desirable operations in the past, such as being used for hacking or theft. These coins may not be as desirable as others, but you cannot replace one Bitcoin with another. On the other hand, Monero is completely untraceable. Therefore, using this cryptocurrency removes such risk from you. After all, two Monero coins cannot be distinguished from each other based on transaction history. However, this strong privacy protection has also made Monero popular on illegal markets associated with prohibited substances and other dirty businesses. High anonymity also creates a few drawbacks for the cryptocurrency. Due to the use of confidential transactions and complex privacy algorithms, Monero may face scalability issues. This can lead to transaction processing delays and increase in blockchain size. Additionally, Monero has more limited community support compared to more popular cryptocurrency like Bitcoin or Ethereum. It may not be as widely accepted as a payment method, and it may have less integration with exchanges and payment systems. Each cryptocurrency has its superpower, and for Monero it is undoubtedly privacy. But at the same time, it lacks the cool and reliable staking mechanism like TFS. Monero uses the proof-of-work consensus mechanism, where miners perform computational work to confirm and add transactions to the blockchain, earning new coins as a reward for securing the network. But since Monero doesn't use the proof-of-stake mechanism typically associated with staking, users cannot lock their coins in the Monero network to earn rewards or support network operations as DFS users do. However, despite the mentioned drawbacks, Monero continues to be a popular cryptocurrency and still holds the title of the king of privacy. How do you feel about Monero? What is more important to you, cryptocurrency anonymity or its strong community support? Share your opinion in the comments, so we can discuss the topic based on personal experiences. See you soon!